welcome back to another video. This video is the 1k special. I'd just like to say thank you so much everyone for a thousand subscribers. Can you believe that we've been working at this for over six years already? That's almost half my lifetime. Well, it took us long to get here, hashtag nerd squad, but it's the journey that counts, not the destination. It's been over six years. Six years of constantly improving my content. Six years of starting off from a crappy laptop and a crappy phone to one of a better journey. Fans who actually support me, even emotionally. And to be honest, this all means a lot to me. I can't express how grateful I am. In spite of the destination, today I will share with you all my journey on YouTube. Six years of being on the platform. Four years of being a Roblox YouTuber. I've learned so much from the experiences, and I've matured over time. I've matured my content and myself. Thank you everyone who's provided critique even. It's helped me so much to grow and better as a person. There won't be a face reveal in this video, and I'll explain why later. With that being said, let's get started in our 1K special. I started YouTube in 2014 of April with the name Fart Pants. I know, 2014 humor, comedic relief, yada yada yada. On the channel, what I basically made is I made very, very bad videos using Flipagram. And these videos would mainly consist of me taking pictures of games such as ninjas. I was obsessed with ninjas, guys. Like, I cannot believe it. And in these ninja things, what I'd do is I'd also take pictures of Minecraft because I was inspired by people like Japsecticeye, ETC, and I watched a lot of Dan TDM when I was younger as well. And note, inspiration does not mean good. These videos were absolutely awful. I look back on them and go, where did I go wrong? They're absolutely cringy and I can't stand to even watch my videos today. It's just a really big self-esteem issue for me. Anyways, continuing forwards, I started just making these crappy videos for fun just to show to my friends, hey, I did this, or hey, I did that. I also made Clash of Clans videos. I didn't really set my mind to actually doing YouTube as a hobby until I gained around 100 subscribers. It was a big confidence boost for me. In 2012, I started to play a game called Roblox. This was my Roblox account. It was called Zen Ninja 1000, and since then, I have renamed it to A Tanuki. I really like Sonic and a lot of like 2014 memes back then. I'd really say it's cringy. Anyways, around this time period is when I really started to take my channel more of a serious matter. I'd start to upload videos every two weeks, which was my normal schedule, since my schooling still takes up a lot of my time, and it took a lot of my time back then. What I'd upload is I'd upload Roblox gameplays like Dan TDM, how-to tutorials, and especially drama videos, which is kind of what got me started today and really successed my career, in short. The first video I remember going off, as I stated, was my LEGO Bloxian video. In this video, what I did is I basically dumped on LEGO Bloxian, and we're now friends, but looking back on it, I really feel bad for it. It was a bit harsh, and it inspired me to change my content to more of a neutral stance. You see, I've always liked drama programs. Oh yeah, I watched 90 Day Fiancé, Real Housewives, all that stuff, you know? And so I found out about Roblox drama and I started reporting it almost as a news reporter. It was fun to me and I mean it still is, however I try and report on it less. This content gave me around 200 subscribers which I hit in 2018 and now have a screenshot. I'll show it right here. In 2018 I revamped my channel again to look like this. In 2018, I gained over 300 subscribers and it was a really big news to me. I wouldn't really start to blow up until the year 2019, which is what really started my career on YouTube. In January of 2019, I uploaded a video about the coral situation, which blew up and got over a thousand views at the time. This catapulted my channel to 400 and then finally 500 subscribers. It was an absolutely huge goal for me, and many people commented where I learned my editing. I learned my editing in a course called TEJ101. All my presets are mine, all the animations are mine, and I learned them from an amazing teacher at the high school I go to. Through my high school courses, I learned how to better edit, and I wanted to improve as much as possible. I gained around 600 subscribers by the middle of 2018, and then finally, we hit 1000 in 2020. 
2019 was an absolutely huge year for me in the sense that I really improved my content and I improved myself as a person. Although I've made mistakes on the way there, I am grateful for everyone's support and sticking with me nonetheless. Now in last post community tab, I asked you guys to ask me questions for the 1k Q&A. I'll answer them right now. As I say, let's get started. On our second community post, I asked you guys to ask questions for this q and I'll answer all 28 of them here. Let's get started. My friend Star asks, I've got a lot of questions, so if you don't mind me asking them. Number one, what games do you play besides Roblox? Number two, will you ever use your second channel for any other games? Number three, who inspires you to make YouTube videos? Number four, who's your favorite Roblox YouTuber and non-Roblox YouTuber? Number five, what advice do you have for inspiring content creators? Number six, how did you discover Roblox? Number seven, what do you use to edit your videos? Any tips on video editing? And number eight, any life advice on general that you'd like to give? To answer the first question, I play a lot of Mario Kart 8, and I said I'm pretty good at it. I play a lot against my school tournaments, etc. If you'd like to add me, I might get a Switch soon, not sure. Number two, I will use my second channel for more games, but it's mainly for useless rants that will get bombed, etc. Number three, who inspires me to make YouTube videos? Well, as I was younger, Japsecticeye and DanTDM inspired me, but as I got older, I find that Epic Rika inspired me with my editing, especially with his Sony Vegas editing. Number four, my favorite Roblox YouTuber. Well, that's a hard question to ask. My favorite non-Roblox YouTuber, however, is the gamer from Mars. Number five, the advice that I have for inspiring content creators is to not give up and optimize tags, please. That's what gets you there. Number six, how did I discover Roblox? I discovered it through camp and a friend. And number seven, I use Premiere Pro CC 2019 to edit my videos. Tip, always use continual keyframes. And any life advice in general? Best advice in general is to not abandon your friends. They'll get you through hard times. Number Dude asks, what were your expectations for your YouTube channel when you first started it? Well, my expectations for my YouTube channel is I'd gain around 100 subscribers and then quit. And that's obviously not true as I've gotten more now. My expectation was also that I'd just continue making the videos the way I am, and that I'd probably stay a Roblox gaming YouTuber if I did get famous, which that's low. I'm not famous now, but still. Definitely, I'd say I'd very much surpassed my expectations in editing. I never expected that I'd edit as well as I do in my terms of standards. And I'd definitely say I've never reached this incredible number of subscribers. Ran asks, when did you start playing Roblox? What was your first ever Roblox game? What's your favorite Roblox game? And what's your goal for this year? So I started playing Roblox in around 2012, but I ended up getting more, I guess, good at it or more serious about it in 2016. My first ever Roblox game was Survive the Disasters. My favorite Roblox game, however, is definitely Wild Revolvers or Adventure Up. My goal for this year is to hit 2k and I hope I can reach that number. Illum asks, what motivates you to keep making videos? My family has been really supportive with making my videos, especially my mom and dad. They've got me all my equipment and I cannot thank them enough for their support. My twin sister helps me a lot with editing as I've taught her how to edit too. She's also my channel manager and we started the channel together a long time ago. It originally started as me and her, but then we evolved to just be me, although she still helps out and she's a big credit in my life. Her name's Bitbat. My fans also motivate me too, and YouTube has gotten me through a really hard period in my life, especially in later 2019 with my grades. I figure if I get better grades, I'll be able to keep making more content. I definitely want to do something in the editing industry when I grow older, and that's what also keeps me going to improve my skills. My friend Pondas asks, what is my goals for YouTube? My goals for YouTube this year is to reach around 2k subscribers. My original goal was 100 and I hope I can hit those. It'd be a great honor if I did. Do you consider yourself famous? Now that you're one, 1k, do you think that you can join a game and refer to yourself as a YouTuber? Bonus question, how often do you watch my videos? Well Turbo, I'll answer the first question first. 
Now that I'm 1k, I do not consider myself famous, but I like my following and I'm very happy with it. And I always watch your videos, I have noticed on for you as well. I've had a couple fans recognize me in game, I think around 5 or 6. It makes my day and it makes me very happy. Thank you guys for all the things you do, from making fan art, joining me in games, joining me in videos, and more. Jay asks, when was your channel originally, when you made it, and how has it changed over the years? My original channel was a gameplay, and I started it in 2014, exactly 6 years ago, which is half of my lifetime since I'm 15. It's very much changed over the years in the sense that I've improved my thumbnails, I've definitely improved my editing, I've switched editing things three times from Camstasia, and now I've moved on to Premiere Pro. It's changed over the years in maturity as well. When I used to report on drama, I definitely used to give a biased side of the opinion, really just commenting it on as like other YouTubers opinions, and I felt this doesn't represent me today. My old content didn't really represent me, so I took it down and I've started it all new. Therefore, I'll have to gain all my watch hours again, but that's okay. I've definitely said I've also changed in personality. In personality, I've definitely went from a more introverted person to a more outgoing person. YouTube has changed me a lot in person and in editing. Bruh asks, when did you start your channel like more seriously? I started my channel more seriously in around 2018 when I started to make more high quality videos. They weren't the best of quality, but they were higher quality to me. Over time, I started to improve my editing, I got more professional of a profile picture, a banner, I improved my SEO, my tags, and my thumbnails. It all comes from hard work and there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube. I especially recommend Adobe in a minute, he really helped me out learning YouTube. Elfie asks, are you the Fortnite YouTuber Fortnite player 234254? Yes I am. Wolfie Senpai Does Gotcha asks me, What got you fascinated in making Roblox videos? Dan TDM inspired me for the gameplay aspect of the video. I started watching Aprika in around 2015. He really inspired me with definitely editing, with his Sony Vegas editing, and I spent around two years in trying to learn it. My older videos kind of look like it, but it's not really as high quality and I focus on the shutter frame way too much. What got me fascinated in Roblox's culture was especially Roblox myths and scams, and that's what I found fun to report on, including Roblox's outside community like YouTube, Twitter, and more. I'm most active on Twitter, so that's mainly what I focus on now. Turbo again asks me, have you ever gotten beaten up in a fight at school? Sorry for the dark question. I'm generally a passive person, so I do not get into physical fights myself. I'm very weak, and no, I have never gotten beat up. I live in Canada and it's very safe here, especially when it comes to bullying. My sister asks me, what is my favorite droid? SMH is obviously the gong droid. The gong droid is holy, period. Did you know that the gong droid was actually used to store electricity? My best friend Sky asks me, why did you make a channel? I made a channel originally to show off my Flippergram videos, but over time it evolved into gameplay, and now it evolved into Roblox essays and discussions. I originally also made my channel to kind of flex on my friends. I mean, I was young at the time, I thought that was the most important life goal, etc. May asks, what's my favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is known as Zigazoon, which is actually a Tanuki like my username, aka a raccoon. It's so cute, like, I'm not denying it. Serbo asks, can you do the Fortnite? My answer, no! May again asks, which video of yours was the most fun to make? I definitely say the Super Doom Spire, it required the least editing, and I love playing the game. Black Hat asks, why do you like making discussions and reviews? I like making discussions and reviews because I do not find myself the gameplay type of person anymore. I don't feel I have a streamer personality. I like more scripted and that's why I like making discussions and reviews, as you can edit them differently, you can add slides, etc. It just feels more natural. Falcao Grave asks, will you ever try other games like Minecraft, Hytale, etc. coming soon? And also, are you ever going to do a roleplay because I think you could do a good roleplay. I actually might try roleplay, I'm going to try something for my Valentine's Day special, I hope you guys enjoy it and it's going to be really funny. And yes, 
this is going to be Minecraft. It's all a bunch in one. Thank you everyone for listening and watching to the community tab for questions and thank you for asking them. I really enjoy interacting with you guys and you guys are my world. If your question didn't get in, please don't be hard on yourself. It was probably just repeated or the filter blocked it. And again, I know it sounds cheesy, but thank you all so much for 1,000 subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you. I wanted to make this video to show my story and how my personal life is like sometimes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.